Starlink is officially in Zimbabwe. For those of you who don't know what Starlink is, it is a satellite internet service provider. Why am I talking about this? This is big news for a lot of us Zimbabweans that have been struggling to access reliable, fast and affordable internet. Up until the beginning of September, I think people have been using Starlink on roaming, which is quite pricey. And the people that have been buying and selling in Zimbabwe were really expensive. Now you can buy Starlink directly from Starlink.com. Some areas in Harare have reached full capacity in just a few weeks. It just goes to show that there is need for internet connection anywhere and everywhere in the world. I think that Starlink coming into Zimbabwe will definitely change a lot of lives as people can now work remotely. A lot of websites require 20 Mbps. A lot of talented people can now work on Fiverr, Upwork and all this other website. I mean, it opens a lot of doors because the global market is so big, no one can finish it. There's so many opportunities here online. If you guys think of any opportunity that I didn't mention, please let us know down below in the comment section i think it's pretty cool that zimbabwe is evolving and adopting mm -hmm. systems that are aligned with technology and that will help the country as a whole just be better and better let me answer a few questions that i have seen floating around who is starling for content creators gamers people that stream anything online People that want to learn new things, that live in remote areas like farmers that want to learn more about what they are farming. I've ordered my own kit. I'm so, so happy that you guys are going to be able to find my content and hopefully I'm going to be more consistent. We are currently working on episode 5, which is the homestead build. I'm so, so excited for you guys to see that. Resources like this are completely life-changing. Internet speeds have been a big problem in Zimbabwe for a very, very long time. That is why you see that most areas got full capacity really quickly because people were fed up of high prices but low speeds of internet as someone that shares videos online about rural life uh, home projects farming traveling i want to be able to access internet as and when i need it in this digital age the internet keeps us connected to other content creators that inspire maybe your work that inspire an idea that you have been working on so I'm so excited to be sharing my journey with you. Stay tuned for the next episode where we will be digging the footing for the foundation, the trenches and doing footing for the foundation. The other question is how much is Starlink? We have the Starlink Mini which is $200 and $23 for shipping. That will give you a total of $223. Your data package will, will be $30 a month with a lower speed as compared to the $50 one that is the residential type. Ordering is very, very simple. You will type or and select your address and then you will go to order now, fill in your information and your banking details credit card and stuff i'm using stand big shout out to my bank that has never let me down it's the my favorite bank in zimbabwe i highly recommend stand big they also have a bigger kit that cost 350 dollars for the hardware and then you will pay 50 dollars for the data 23 dollars for shipping now this this is the best investment that I have made this year. I ain't gonna lie, she's pricey, but it's the best investment, like I said. I need internet more than I need a week. I need internet more than I need a lot of things. That is how much girlies would be spending on weeks, okay? So I think it's worth it. Most of all, the internet has allowed me to connect with all of you. The best community that I can ever ask for you guys have guided me through this um, planning stage of building the house and I'm so grateful for your inputs I am saving everything that you're sending me 
so that we create the best of the best houses when the kit gets here i'll probably do a unboxing with you guys and tell you and test the speeds you can change your location regionally you just have to be on the roaming package which is a hundred dollars i think this will be a game changer for people in the rural areas to access internet as well if you're worrying about your device being stolen it has a inbuilt gps so if you ever get your device stolen you will report it to starlink and they will track it using the gps as for what i was spending i think i would end up spending more than 50 dollars a month because i would combine tel one and econet the mobile data the private wi-fi data tel one was giving 160 gigabytes for 30 dollars and starlink is giving one terabyte for 50 dollars at really high speeds and i think this is a steal tel one is not that bad but it would have days where it's not so good it would do well with watching youtube videos netflix show max and all the streaming services but when it came to uploading it was a nightmare the econet mobile data is the one that i would use for uploads but it was so so expensive here are the prices for the private wi-fi data i would end up buying the 30 gig one which is 38 dollars and it wouldn't even last what do you guys pay for internet where you're based if you're not based in zimbabwe please let me know in the comment section below econet now has a new package that gives you unlimited data with 580 minutes of calling and 700 messages for 45 dollars which is insane it took them this long to figure out that people need affordable data or should i say it took it took the coming in of a competitor that threatened their business for them to change their ways anyway we thank god for newer solutions all the time my why i share content is because i want people to see that zimbabwe is beautiful it is diverse it has got wonderful food because there is power in social media and the things that we see over and over and over it is not a coincidence that we can easily identify western cuisines western culture it is because it has been constantly fed to us in the media only us as african we can change the narrative and tell our own stories with our own voices i hope to see more zimbabwean content creators telling their stories i'll see you guys soon